Okay, I'm going to speak briefly on this whole Master P and Romeo Miller thing. Um, in my humble opinion, not that anyone is asking for my opinion, but it sounds like somebody is in Romeo's ear. Um, it always end up like that, man. Somebody end up in your ear. Like, you know, why aren't you this way? Or why don't you have this? And you should be here. And your father was taken from you and stealing from you and whatnot. So my humble opinion is somebody is in Romeo Miller's ear. For him to rise up at his dad like this. Now, this is not the first time that we've seen this happen among celebrity kids. We've seen this happen with Kirk Franklin and his son. We saw this happen with 50 Cent and his son. We saw this happening with T.I. and his son. They're not the first and they're not going to be the last. And it's unfortunate because dads are always wrong, man. And Master P, I heard the video he made and he was absolutely correct. As a matter of fact, they both are correct. They both are correct because I remember Romeo doing all these commercials with that college, that university. Uh, Romeo had these chips out there with his face on them. So he should have gotten paid. If that was about business, that money should have at least be set aside for Romeo. Anything that's coming in, Anything those chips are producing, Romeo gets a cut out of it because his face is on those chips. His face was in those commercials. So in that respect, Romeo is correct. He should be getting a cut. He should be, of course, I'm sure the father probably bought him a car, bought him clothes, gave him money. He was able to shine. He's got, you know, he's got the females coming at him. Uh, you got other kids that's that's, that's desiring to be like him, that's envying him, that's cool. But a workman is worthy of his hire. And if Romeo's face was on those chips, if Romeo's face was on those commercials, Romeo should have been on the payroll, especially if they were acting as business partners. That's a bad business deal when it comes to Master P. I understand him being a dad, but that was a bad business deal. So. They are both correct in that. Now, Master P is correct because, um, like I said, dads, man, you know, people are going to always find fault in fathers. Fathers are just unforgiving, you know. Um, you take mothers, for example. You got a lot of females that's getting child support from the dad. But the child never sees that child support. The moms take the child support go out to clubs, she get her hair done, she buy things she want, uh, she get butt injection, lip injections, anything she want to do with that money, and the children usually go without. I've seen cases, man, where these kids didn't have no clothes to put on. These kids were out in the street begging for money, but the mother was getting child support. So the money wasn't going towards the child, it was going towards the mother. And in many cases, she's sharing the child support money with her boyfriend. But yet, none of those kids ever grow up and confront their moms like they do the dads. You know, you could have done this. Dads are always, you're, you're never there for me. You never did nothing for me. You didn't do this for me. And, and that hurts. And, and in many cases, man, that hurt a lot of these dudes' heart, man. And you got dudes, man, to say, you know what? F them kids, man. And they just like kind of go on about their business. They don't think about it because dads are never appreciated, man. Dads are always looked at as an ATM. Everybody's always got their hands held out for dads to give them, right? But when a dad does wrong, it's unforgiving, you know? So I understand where they're both coming from. They're both correct. And at the same time, they both are wrong. Romeo's wrong because that's his dad, of course. And his dad did make him shine. When you reach a certain age, now you have access to be and do anything you want to just because of the fact that you are your father's son. 
So when Master P made his son shine, his son was already in the door. So now it's up to you what you do while the door is open for you. So you can either go out and explore your own path or you can sit back and wait for dad to give you. You know, it's, it, there comes a time when young boys have to stand up and be a man for themselves and stop depending upon their dads. You know, now if you fall into a rut and you need help, then the father is there to help you. And I think Romeo should have went to his dad and sat down and talked to him. And maybe he did that. And maybe that was the reason why he ended up on social media. And I think that's the worst place for a father and son to take their business to social media. Because the only thing that does is build bad blood between the son and the father. Because once that father's gone, you're not getting any more. But once that son is gone, because now we're living in times where young people, young boys are taken out faster than older men are. So you have to learn to appreciate each other while you are here. And don't allow small things to get to you, especially if you got somebody whispering in your ear. And in many cases, these females be whispering in their sons and their daughters' ears about the dad, making them bitter toward their parent. And see, fathers are always unforgiving. But I guarantee you, if that was the mother, although she was a crack fiend, she's always going to be a black queen. That's the mindset. And it's unfair. So... Master P was correcting what he was saying, and you can hear the hurt in his heart, and maybe he meant no harm. But if Romeo's face was on those chips, and he was in those commercials for that college, he should be getting paid. And maybe he did get paid. Maybe he did, but some money should have been set aside for him, so when he became an adult, he had that money set aside in the trust fund. That right there is fair business especially if you're using his image to make money. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time, I'm fearless.